Happy birthday, Nathan. Thank you so much. Yes. Happy, birthday oh, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nathan. Happy birthday to you. Yay, Nathan. Yep, he's good. Many, many happy birthdays. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yes, it's so exciting. You're all red now. I am all red now. No. Speech. <laughs> Speech. Speech. <laughs> no, no. I'm, Speech. I drink green, green juice. Well, it's really exciting to hear, hear uh, this rejuvenation by bringing the living forces into our bodies. That's basically the story rather than the dead forces of our culture, you know, and, and we're trying to make a change, we're trying to enlighten, to teach consciousness, to teach a higher path. Uh, it's not necessary to suffer. This I consider this just my first 60th birthday, I'm waiting for the second, you know. <laughs> uh, um, you know, some people say after, when, you t when you get to hit 60, it's just a pathway down, I think it's a pathway up. And it's a tragedy in our culture that the older people who have the wisdom and the experience do go downhill. They turn, when something goes wrong, they turn to their physician and they, they turn to somebody who has a white coat on who should have a higher level of consciousness, but actually follows a worldview that's based on a lower level of consciousness and drags people down. And, and people, especially with um, senility and Alzheimer's, uh, begin to walk the halls of nursing homes like zombies after they've had a few drugs. And supposedly, you know, oh, it's just a side effect. You know, it's not a primary effect. Everything is discounted. That's what an ideology, when somebody's got a brain ideology or a brain disease where they can't see the world straight, they've got an ideology. And the cure, the chemical cure, is just around the corner and so on and so forth. But it's not true. We have to follow a whole different path, a whole different understanding. And then we can become uh, liberated. Okay. And that's uh, we can enjoy ourselves and have fun. <laughs> that's great. Look at all the beautiful, look at all the beautiful food that we have here. Let's see. Oh wow, these are. Um, go ahead. Maybe you could share it's, it's, so everybody knows gorgeous. what's here. Oh, these are um, brownies, raw brownies and blondies. Brownies raw. are made from uh, pecans and raw cacao, and the blondies from yeah. walnuts. Mm -hmm. And I also made onion bread, and these are our own sprouts. Wow, onion bread and their own sprouts. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, who made the one in the back? Uh, that was, that's mine. That's yours. Okay, Michelle, tell us what um, that is. Those are. It's an apple cobbler. Apples from my tree. Uh huh. And um, pecans, walnuts, some orange juice, fresh squeezed oranges, fresh squeezed lemon, raisins, dates, cinnamon. Wow, that's it. that sounds great. That, and it's all raw? It, yeah, all raw. Uh huh, beautiful. And then, um, Joan, you made these. Yes. Okay. What I call an energy bar to with, with rolled oats, wheat germ, wheat bran, um, agave, raisins, almond butter, and um, something else is in there. That's good. That's, that's great. That's it's something good. else. Okay. All right. So then what else do we have here? A pudding. Oh, yes. This is extra chocolate chocolate <laughs> fruit chocolate mousse mm, made yeah. by my daughter Soraya, especially for Nathan. Mm -hmm. And um, she alters my recipe a little bit in that she doesn't like raisins in, in the pudding. Uh -huh. So she puts more coconut butter and it therefore gets this dark, dark, like ganache, dark chocolate taste. Yeah. It has blueberries and raisins in it, and I believe walnuts and almonds and no, not raisins, blueberries and raspberries. Uh huh. Cool. Um, yeah, and probably some little secret. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, and then we have a carrot, and then just some regular, um, without the without dressing. Without oil. Uh-huh, okay. And then what do we have here? Oh, uh, we have, um, everything.
everything you got in your fridge, raw, <laughs> crunchy burgers. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Raw crunchy burgers. So it's it's veggies and um, hazelnuts, um, everything organic, everything raw, as always. Uh -huh. Spices and these are little. These have an edge. These have like a little spicy edge. To them. Okay, great. All right, and then there's uh, Nathan's birthday cake with six candles and one to grow on. And uh, that's made, um, it's a black forest cake, and it's made out of um, walnuts, cherries, and on the, the dressing is cashew and cherries. And it's sweetened with stevia mainly. So... All right, and then we have another one here, vegan dish. Tell it's us about that. It's rice noodles rice with noodles. Um, organic broccoli and peas and onions. Mm -hmm. from right over there. And <laughs> um, some teriyaki, gluten-free stir-fry sauce, and that's it. <laughs> okay, what's your name? Taylor. A Taylor. So nice that you could come. That looks yeah, great. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, and then this is another dish that I made, and it's... Um, it's made from kelp noodles, which are which are raw, and I made a um, a tomato sauce, um, a raw tomato sauce. So, um, yeah. So. And I want to take a picture of you because you look so awesomely beautiful, okay. the princess of the day. Hi, Melinda. Thank you for organizing this and inviting us all. You're welcome. And thanks to Nathan for having a 60th birthday. I'm eating a rock. Yeah. <laughs> thanks to Nathan for being the first in this whole area to be raw and promoting conscious living. Lighten the candles. One match. Uh, he's close. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. All 61. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. I'll get so. a sink to celebrate All right. here. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nathan. Happy birthday to you. Another 64. <laughs> okay, Nathan. Blow them out. I have to blow them out. Okay, I have a wish. Okay. Yay! <laughs>